uh, dim the lights, pump up the music and put on something bright and funky. Well, it sounds like getting ready for perhaps for a night on the town, but actually it's in preparation for a game of squash. Yeah, for an increasing number of students, apparently, it's proving an effective way of getting them out of the bar or out of bed and into sport. Breakfast, Mike Bushell has been to the University of Warwick to take part in what's called an ultraviolet, hopefully not ultraviolent, squash festival. <laughs> Looking to add some spice to your game, to tempt more of your friends onto court with you, and also if you want to stand more of a chance against players far quicker, better than yourself, well, maybe it's time to turn down the lights, pump up the music, and slip into something more comfortable. A new strip, maybe. In the changing room, then, ahead of a game of UV squash. The idea first originated in New Zealand, but came to the UK three years ago when Warwick University saw it as a way to attract more people onto the courts. People just wanted to get new members into squash club and get people joining the sports and getting really involved. And yeah, it really caught on really quickly. We had a full week of everyone coming along. And it means that they don't, uh, don't just go sit at the bar. They can come along and play, play squash and do something active. Of course, it does take a bit of preparation to play in the dark. Hold on, you've forgotten the glow sticks. You have to be seen after all. The game has now spread to other universities and to other countries too. And it has brought a nightclub dance floor atmosphere to this sport. We now do UV spinning. UV badminton, there's uh, UV netball and UV zumba. It just gets people into sport, I think. Um, people are here who have never played before and it's a really good way to get people trying new things. It has a really interesting effect as well on your spatial awareness. A couple of times I've jumped, not reached the ball and got over, but I guess it's just fun your feet in this uh, new light environment. But it's also great getting in time with the music too. The evidence of this UV squash festival at Warwick earlier this month was that the idea has achieved its goal of attracting new non-squash players into the sport. We're coming into the line and off the court, Veronique and Vivian, how did you find that? Was it like? Um, that was a really great experience. I felt like I was in a nightclub. <laughs> Shock to the system. It's like a mole coming out of a hole. And actually, I play squash normally, but, but the UV lights are there. It does make it feel a lot warmer, I think. And I feel like I've run around a lot more as well. And after all that music, it's definitely time for a lie down. Mike Bushell, BBC News in Warwick.